Hello everyone, how's it going? Welcome to a very hot and scorchy day at Bewley, where we are here today for the National Mini Cooper Register Rally. We're at the museum, plenty of cars to see. Let's go and check them out. So the selection of minis has thinned out quite dramatically because it is now about three o'clock in the afternoon. I've been taking it easy by the mini. Over here, we've got a mini convertible, nice little blue one at the back. Green Mini Cooper, Mini ERA Turbo. Now I'm pretty sure this was the one I played Leapfrog with on the way back from the British Motor Museum last year. So of course the Mini ERA Turbo, the clues in the name, it's got a turbo in it which makes it extremely quick. Amazing amount of smoke came out the back of this when it was uh, on the move. If it was indeed this one, I generally can't remember. Newer Mini Countryman. And a Mini 1275 GT Clubman. Loving the colour scheme of this one. Yellow, red, black, more rather nice. Prepared by GM Motorsport. It's rather tasty. I love the steering wheel on it. That's rather neat. Nice little mini Sprite NREG, 1995 ish. I actually quite like the Sprites. Of course, the Sprite was the later version of essentially my Mini City. They're cool, the Sprite, because they had a slightly larger and more powerful and quicker engine, 1275 in it, compared to mine, which is only the 998. Mine was the base model. This is the base model of the later line, as you can tell by the fact that non-opening rear windows, black uh, door pulleys, door handles. It's a nice car. I almost bought a Sprite, actually, but um, never quite happened. Still, there we go. A T Reg Blue Cooper Sport, looking very nice on those wheels. Looks very wide. A little Leyland Mini, not quite sure of the year on this one. I imagine late 70s. Loving the text on those mini lights though. Looks nice. It's a Mini 850. So probably going to be, what, a Mark III, I imagine? Something like that. It's quite neat. And down here, H. Reg Mini Cooper, same year as mine, but obviously that was the year the Mini Cooper was reintroduced as a factory option. So previously the Coopers during the 80s were basically aftermarket company only, but in 1990 Rover introduced it to their range of Minis. So there we go, the Mini Cooper came back in 1990. This Morris Cooper S with the door dot is about to leave. Goodbye Morris Cooper S. This Mini is also about to leave, as we can see, j Reg, slightly younger than mine. Mini Mayfair, that one. If I had a red Mini, that would probably be the spec I'd wanted in. Little Mini City here, obviously the earlier City version compared to mine. Look at the interior. More basic steering wheel. Clearly a fan, then, of the American series Roadkill. Made in the 80s, this is a 1986, I want to say. Mini City E, again, just like my Mini, except mine's blue. It's a nice colour though, I love the little uh, pinstripes down the side. They're lovely. Over here, Blue Crew, an Austin Mini. Mark 1, of course, probably known as the 7. Here's a Morris Cooper S. Tell them between the Austin and the Morris one by the grill. Austin usually had the wavy style, this has got the smooth. Mini Clubman Estate. It's got a GT badge on the front of it, so I can only assume operated engine, probably a 1275 at least. Got a little GoPro mount on the front. Why wouldn't you? Perfect for filming events. This one is known as the Smurf, as you can tell by the Smurf in the front. He looks happy to be here. Who wouldn't be? A little white mini. And this nice little one just down here. Quite a nice base model Clubman. Of course the Clubman taking over from the more traditional round and nose style like the ones at the back there. Obviously not the Smurf. As I've said before in videos these are a lot easier to work on the traditional style of mini just because square front end, more space, more accessibility. Notice the tiny 10 inch wheels, little British Leyland badge at the bottom there. It's rather sweet. Nice, I like the interior of it. Looks good. 
And the colour as well. It's very, uh, very 70s. Over here, Mini Cooper. This is a 35th anniversary edition. That Mini sounds cool just over there. 961, 1966. So 35th anniversary of the Mini Cooper. Not of Mini full stop, just of the Cooper. It got special things such as green leather seats, green leather steering wheel, green carpets. There's a lot of green going on with it, basically. Okay, so just across from the little Mini 35th Anniversary Cooper, we got the Mini Scamp. And of course, the Mini, well known for being a a good car to base all little kits off, and this is one of them. Mini Scamp. It's very, very boxy. Even the moke isn't this boxy. If you have a look at it, wheels there. Some different coloured wheels there. But underneath it is strictly just a mini. Plenty of soft toys in it as well. And antlers. And a mini moto. There's quite a lot. This little E range mini in a maroony brown. Green mini, green mini. This is quite heavily modified with a different front on it. So I've had a little bit of an accident, but oh well. These things happen, I'm sure. Sunroof. Nice red wheel on it. Suits the, uh, suits the rest of it. Non-YouTube friendly word. Been a Brooklyn's Mini Day, this one. For Austin Cooper. Although I said earlier about the wavy grill, this one, not so much, but then again, minis have got quite a large modifying scene. Sweet little mini pickup. There's the fuel filler pipe just down there. Quite a lot of space in here actually. I'm not sure if it's a larger space than the van. Obviously the van's taller, but uh, it's not bad. I do like a pickup. Would quite like to own one. This one's got very chunky tyres. Might have seen this one at the British Motor Museum the other weekend. I'm not 100% sure actually now I think about it. Morris Cooper S. Mini van. Non smooth roof. Another mini ERA turbo. Kids playing a game. Morris Cooper S. And a mini. Yellow mini. Very yellow mini. Who wouldn't have a yellow mini? Ah. Strictly not a Mini, as long as you go by the brochures of it, but underneath, we all know it's a Mini. This is a Riley Elf. This is the booted version. Notice because it's got the boot on the back. Quite nice looking fins on it. Obviously the Riley Elf was deemed to be like the Mini Rolls Royce, essentially. And you've got like little wooden dashboard, steering wheel, although this one I think has been changed. I don't think that's the original wheel. But yeah, another interior. And the slightly more upmarket front end. Cooper Sport. I've got nice interior in mind. have got all um This one, D Reg Mini to the late eighties. I know too much for my own good. <laughs> and a bunch of Coopers. Just over there. Quite early minis, late minis, I think mark two or threes. There's Mark 1 in the middle, supposedly, unless it's just later one made to look like one. It's very hard to tell with minis. Wolseley Hornet, 90s Surf Blue, best colour for a Cooper Sport. Nice collection of red. I'm liking the 1275 GT, though, it's only got a very good theme to it. If I'm right in thinking, is that a supercharger? It is. It's a very nice supercharger. Look at it. Is that your radiator? Same as mine. It's all very neat and tidy under here. Having the theme on it. Awesome. Good work. Little club and estate converted to a van. Paceman. Countryman. The big collection of minis. Of course, there's a lot of them here today, unsurprisingly, at a mini show. Minis representing West Country Minis. Would have seen these on the Isle of Wight because that is the West Country Minis adventure basically. They took it over from Red Funnel, I think, about two or three years ago now. Obviously, we saw this one before. This is Chop, quite a well known mini in the mini scene. So cool because 
very low roof line. Instead of being dropped down by about four inches, which is the standard for a mini sprint, this one's been dropped down by about six inches. The paint's made to look like wood. Yes, it is paint, not vinyl. And if you have a look in there, it's very uh, West Country based, shall we say. The owner of it's quite a uh, West Country man, I believe. I think I'm messing briefly. That's the thing with mini shows, you meet a lot of people. So he's done to his own taste though, and I like it for that. It's very unique. Little mini checkmate in red hot. Special editions throughout the 90s, of course. Rover tried to make them a bit different by having a special edition for pretty much everything and anything they can get their hands on. The red hot, obviously red. You had the jet black as well, which was its sibling, which surprisingly enough, that was black. I believe they had 998cc engines, possibly 1275 was an option, I'm not 100% sure. Either way, very nice car. Cooper Swart with very faded red paint. Usually with minis you usually see them all sparkly and shiny, this one isn't. I like it for being different. Another 35th edition Mini Cooper. And yet another Mini Cooper. There's lots of Mini Coopers here. Of course, little dice in the window. Loving the wheels on this Mayfair. Classic Leyland style. It's very nice. Mini Cooper. Well, Cooper S. Another Cooper S. And this one here is called Tango. He's got a very similar number plate to the one I've got for my Mini. Except mine is blue to match the theme. Loving the colour scheme on this one though. Dark grey, black roof, green striping. What a neat little combination. And another Cooper Works. Or Cooper S Works. Cooper Sports, whatever you want to call it. Sure, same grill as me though. Large collection of minis in a row here, but mostly classics. A couple of newer ones just down there. It's quite fun. Another mini pickup. Again, do like a mini pickup. This one's from Dorset region of the Mini Cooper Register. Competitions being announced, so that will be in the background. Now, why is there an Austin Healy Frog Eye Sprite here? You may be asking. Good question. It's not actually an Austin Healy Sprite Frog Eye, whatever you want to call it. It is actually a mini-based kit car. I know. Amazing, isn't it? Ah, Mini City. This one's familiar. Supposedly this one is completely and utterly original other than the wheels. Belongs to a lovely couple. Met them on the Isle of Wight last year. Nice well, they've chose to bring this one today. They've also got a later Cooper MPI. Well, as they did last time I saw them last year. It's quite a rare colour, this, actually. Not many cities came in it, but this one does. The blue my minis in isn't a common one either. Another early mini city, we saw this one at Goodwood a few weekends back. Possibly even last weekend at uh, British Motor Museum. Oh, last weekend for me. Said a lot on that one already. Mini Cooper. Rally Monte Carlo edition. Hmm, didn't know there was such a thing. More unique minis. I like the little bracing between the wipers on that one. Very competition. Italian job style rally lamp uh, cover thing, not cover, what's it called? Strut brace bar, that's what we'll call it. Why not? A mini Sky Edition, again, part of uh, Rover Group making lots of special editions of them. Things you got different were obviously paint on it, contrasting roof, which was this sky blue colour. It's quite similar actually to surf blue. And the interior was ever so slightly different, but other than that, your standard 908 Mini underneath. So it helps it stand out, something different. Clubman with the unusual door layout. Of course you've got two doors on this side, one door on that side and obviously two at the back, so yeah, a little odd. Of course not very good in the UK because your rear passengers get out into the road. Not great with kids anyway. This is the Thames Valley Mini Club. Met them last weekend at the British Motor Museum as well. Thames Valley Mini Club 
21st summer camp on the Isle of Wight 2019 that clubman attended. Nice wheel trims on it. Not original wheels I would imagine, but either way still nice. This meme we saw last weekend at Warwick as well. Very nice people. Midas again. So sorry, not Midas, Marcos. Saw that as well. As always with cars that are for sale, like that's a convertible. This car could be yours if you're interested in one. 1499 GT. This is quite similar to the one that uh, Mr. Miller of Miller Corner's got, only uh, his is white. That's a lovely colour. This is something different and unusual. Mark 1 Mini with a full opening hatchback rather than just the little bit in the back. You can imagine that's quite useful. Do the seats fold down? Looks like they do. Awesome, extra practicality in your Mini. I like the wheels as well. An Austin Mini this one. It's a Cooper, it's a Radford. Very nice. That's not a Mini, that's a Lotus. Wrong show. This is the Mini Y register. Of course the very first of the brand new, at the time, BMW Minis. OBL, quite well known ones. We saw these last week as well, but uh, yeah. Nice to see him here as well. Of course, a mini show open to all. As long as you have a mini. That shouldn't have 500, of course. <laughs> you just turn up for the day. A Hartger mini, so that'll be pretty quick. Of course, an alternative to a Cooper sort of conversion on them, because this was before, uh, before Cooper became a thing on the newer minis, so. There you go, Hartgo was an alternative option. Nice blue, I like the blue on these two. Mini 30th edition, we saw about five or six of these last weekend, there's quite a lot. I think this is the only Mini Moke here. Of course the Mini Moke is always designed for the military, wasn't deemed to be uh, good enough on the ground clearance for them, so they sold it just as a car for civilians to buy. Of course, this is your fuel tank on it, actually, just down there. So imagine that if you had a side impact. Quite useful, especially if you live in a hot climate like uh, south of France or Spain, which, again, I've said before, or even the UK, like it is today, because it is scorching hot here. It's quite a nice colour on this one, actually. Now this, this tickles my fancy, because I was quite a large fan of the Williams Martini Racing Team in Formula 1. Always like the Martini livery. Apparently, this car is for sale, so possibly this could be yours. That Mini's going electric. Nice little Mini just here with the Union Jack roof, the typical look. A Mini Clubman with a fold-up front end unusual that's because it's got a Honda VTEC under the bonnet but that goes pretty quickly of course you need this sort of setup if you have a VTEC engine underneath because otherwise you haven't got a lot of space to work with the VTEC of course being a very common uh, conversion on minis alongside the Vauxhall red top engines it's because they're quicker they're more efficient more reliable this is better in every way Although I do prefer the noise of an A series. Nice little purple colour on the Cooper Sports Pack there. BMC Special Tuning in Abingdon, this one. Loving the little rally spotlight on the rear, obviously being used as a reversing light. I'm sure Ian from Team Ballylock Classics will approve of that. I know I do. This Mini did have a tow bar, or at least it can have one fitted fairly quickly. Purr, probably purrs along. Quite nice. Nice colour. Blue. More blue. There's a lot of blue. Do I mention mine's blue? Making the colour on this one. And it goes this year to Thames Valley. 
So there's a representative for the Thames Valley Mini Club, or several, here they are. Oh, well done Thames Valley Mini Club. Club Nut fans rejoice for rear wiper action on a Mini. Not common at all. Lovely selection of Minis over there, including a little Traveller. Clubman, it's everything. Everything your heart could want. An early Mini on 12 inch wheels. Notice it looks quite high. Probably not quite got the suspension set up for this particular 12 inch wheel on it, but there we go. Each their own. Better is meant to be like that. Cooper S. Cooper S with actual wing mirrors on it, not door mirrors. Austin Cooper with only one mirror on it. Morris Cooper S with lovely mirrors. And what I can only seem to be a Mark III, Mark IV with, again, no mirrors. The racing type Mini, driven by Nathan Williams, apparently. This is a car from Birmingham Mini Owners Club, it says on the window. And this is quite rare, an Innocenti Mini. And that is the end of the awards. The Mini show. Cooper 1300. Thank you Andy Harrison for giving out the awards. And uh, being a celebrity all the way from Shipley in York. Looks nice, I love the dashboard in the Innocenti yeah. Minis, actually. So thank you, Simon. That's my um, perfect that's dashboard in Mini. Of course, Innocenti so being... Uh, British Leyland's Italian company, sellers of the Lambretta and things like that. Notice how their little indicators just there. Lovely Clubman and a yellow Mini with Be Happy written on the side. Nice message. This Mini I believe is completely unrestored. It's pretty cool. Left hand drive as well. Possibly imported from the United States, if I remember rightly. Not 100% sure on that. A Riley Elf set for racing. These are not things you see that often. Loving the colour of the engine block and rocker cover. It all suits rather nicely. I do like the Elf and the Hordit variants. Having the little leather straps hold the bonnet down though. Obviously safety. Very cool, very nice. Britex Cooper, I believe that one's been on the cover of Mini Magazine as well in the past. I think that was 2017, 18, roughly around then. More minis. There's always more minis. Another elf set for competition use. Got a little roll cage in the back. I really would like to own an elf at some point. Trying to find them is quite difficult though. Monte Carlo Rally Mini. These are all Mark 1 Cooper S's, I believe. Leo Austin's, looks like it. The later one. Mini Clubman, set for racing. Heated front windscreen. Here's that convertible that was over there, but it's actually just moved a little bit closer. This one's for sale, as I said, this one could be yours. One of the rarest minis ever built. Apparently only 328 genuine mini cabriolets were built and only 73 of those were British Racing Green. So this is one of 73. This is 96, 62,000 miles, price on asking. If you want details, there they are. And two more Mini Coopers. As you can see, a lot of Minis are leaving now. That one sounds rather nice and fruity. Of course, you can't come to a Mini show without traders being here. I believe these traders were also at Warwick last week. Nice selection of parts though. Mini Designer. Another one of Mini Special Editions. Mini Cooper Sports Pack. A 1973 converted by wooden picket. Hmm. Liking the little sunroof in it. 
Wooden Pickin Mini, coach built, Cooper and Cooper S register this one. Mini Margrave. Love it. This car's been to Ace Cafe in London. It's Cooper S. Oh, another Innocenti Mini. Releases a Mini with an Innocenti grill on it anyway. Left hand drive, so it is likely to be one. Notice the different door handles on the Margrave actually. More minis, more minis, more minis. Lots of minis here, naturally. I also wonder why. Just leaving the display. Mini E, fully electric Mini of course. Man just trying to kill himself on the front of the Mini. Yeah, we've got the display of Minis throughout the years, of course. These are all Mini Coopers because they're celebrating 60 years of the Mini Cooper this year. Of course, two years ago it was 60 years of the Mini Full Stop. 60 years in 2021 of the Mini Cooper. 1961 they were introduced. So it's quite a nice display of them here. But they were saying there's only a certain amount of Cabriolets built genuinely by Rover. This is another one. So there's probably another 71 out there and there's some of them being crashed and written off and stuff like that. It's quite a nice little Austin in the middle. Quite a neat little selection just over there as well. Mini Cooper with Innocenti Grill on it. May well be an inner shanty. Austin Cooper S police car. That little green mini is on Dunlop D1s which are painted gold. Unusual colour choice but okay. I don't hate it. Mini pickup, lovely colour on that one. Little Mini Mark 3 or 4, one or two. They're all quite similar to be fair. Oh, the Mini purists are going to murder me for that comment. Morris Cooper. I do like the uh, rear lamps with the lack of reversing. They look nice with the two colours. Morris Cooper. Wolseley Hornet. Light up badge on this. Very cool. Mini van at the back. Mini Cooper. Cooper Sport. I never hear something different. Mice Cooper S with a 1071cc engine. Of course, different spec of engines. There's 1071ccs of A series. Let's go and have a look in the other field, see what there is left. This isn't a Mini, but it's a kit car of some sort from 2004, done in a John Player special livery. It kind of looks like an aerial atom, but it's not. Don't know what it is, I'm going to have to Google this and find out. Just had a look at what it is through the number plate. It's a MEV Exoset, and it's from 2014, not 2004. Never seen one of these before, but... Uh, it does look quite similar to the Aerial Atom in the sense that you've got, uh, yeah, not a lot of body panels going on. I'd assume... Actually, I don't know now. I thought it might have been something like a Renault engine in there, given Renault got quite strong tyres with Elf. But I just don't know. Apparently it's an 1800cc. Hmm. An Odyssey, not a Mini though. Selection of minis, R53 Owners Club. Apart from obviously the classic, that isn't an R53. The Mini Axe Facebook group, which I've come as part of today. There's Millie, best car here, obviously. No bias. Mini Cooper S, 2016 Reg. 1991 Mini City, obviously, mine. Cooper S, very shiny, it's been cleaning it all afternoon. Cooper S. The Coupe, not many of these really around now. Don't think they were huge sellers when they were brand new. It's 
quite nice. I like the little Union Jack in the rear window. It's a neat little feature. JCW this one. Fan of petrol pad, fellow mini YouTuber. Some more minis over here, JCW. <laughs> yeah, a mini shorty is quite a popular thing to do amongst classic mini fans. But here's a mini shorty, but it's a later mini. I'm not sure these doors open. If they do, I'm not quite sure how you're going to get into that. But there we go, a mini shorty BMW mini. Because why not? In a convertible. Another mini coupe. A countryman, quite new that one. Loving the graphics on this mini. The blue, the grey and the black working quite nicely together. Actually the grey might be silver, I'm not sure. This mini looks very nice. Purple striping. Good colours on this one. Mini GP, or at least GP styling over there. And one final panning shot of what's left of the show. It's very nice. So it comes to the end of the day at the Mini Cooper Register Rally at Bewley. Hopefully you've enjoyed seeing all the minis here at the show. We've seen many minis old and new. If you have enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like. Comment down below, let me know which was your favourite mini at this show. And of course, if you want to see more car-based content, don't forget to subscribe because there's plenty more of it to come. Anyway, until the very next video, for now guys, I should say thank you very much for watching and farewell.